Ladies and gentlemen, I would like you to prepare to bring on the graduates. acknowledge our winter GED graduates. <laughs> graduates, you may be seated. Is that your son? Yes. <laughs> I would like to take this opportunity to welcome our graduates family and friends, and our staff to the December 10th, 2021 Winter GED graduation. We've opted to split our graduations into several ceremonies a year because we find we get more people that want to attend if they can attend right after they earn their GED instead of waiting nine months, 10 months to the May graduation. And also, it does provide us an opportunity to make it a little bit more personal for family and friends. We are part of the Heartland Adult Education Consortium. We operate out of Breckenridge County, Hardin County, LaRue County, Hart County, and Marion County. And we have GED programs in all of those sites. We also do GED classes in all of the detention centers in those counties. As of July 1, we, the consortium, have graduated 71 students. And I think half of them had to have been this week because it's been an amazing week. So without further ado, I would like to introduce our graduates. So I'm going to hand them their certificate which is an empty folder that when they get their actual GED certificate, they will put their GED in it. I will do this right here. They have the opportunity to go over to the microphone and say a few words, profound words. <laughs> profound, of course. Robert Coomer. in our program at Hardin County Detention Center, all ready to take his test. He was ready to go, except for that now. Um, they released him. And so, of course, when we release our people from the detention without their GED, we try to track them down. But he knew where he was going. He was going to the Rosenwald Community Life Center here in E-Town. So we got a hold of their director, Kim, and we coordinated we gave Robert a computer. He took his tests at the center, OP online, and within a week he had his GED. Wow. So. Um, I just want to say 
Uh, thank you, Miss Kim, and for everybody at Rosenwall. Thank y'all, y'all, um, y'all's class. This weekend really helped me finish up my GD, and then most of all, I'm so thankful for uh, my son's mother. She's always supported me, even though we're not on best terms right now. She's always stuck by my side, and um, this is just one of my first steps to um, changing my life, and I'm really excited about it. Thank y'all. That's all I got. Robert attended our high impact math class this weekend, Friday night, all day Saturday, and most of the day Sunday. And we crammed math into these students like they have never had math before. <laughs> and um, then on Sunday afternoon, we tested them. And Robert was confident the whole time. Friday night, I got this. Saturday, I got, I'm gonna, that algebra is nothing now. Sunday, I don't know if I can pass it. I don't know if I can pass it. So I guess you can pass it. And he's going into the testing room. Now, what, tell me about this formula right here. I'm just like, go, just go do it. And he scored very, very high. So we're very proud of him. Thank you. Thank you. Brenda Estrada. Brenda also attended our high impact, but she had already done one test, so she came for the math. She wasn't going to complete that weekend. It wasn't her last test. But she was so excited that she passed the math, and she said, now the hard ones are out of the way. And she came, and she finished the rest of them. Wednesday, was it? Yeah, she came Wednesday, finished the rest of them. So great job. Would you like to? I'd like to thank my kids for being so great, my husband for always supporting me, all of you guys who did so wonderful. You guys are so supportive, so encouraging, very, very helpful. Um, my family, who are states away, but constantly encouraged me, my husband's family, but most importantly, myself for pushing myself so hard and not giving up. So thank you, thank you. <laughs> Samantha Grimes. So Samantha really worked independently to earn her GED. And we offer the online classes, we offer independent study, we offer classes, and we offer tutoring in person and via Zoom. So there's so many different ways that a person can study to get their GED. Would you like to say a few words? I would just like to thank my fiance and my two kids because without them I honestly would never have gotten my GED. Catherine Hammersley. <laughs> Catherine took advantage of our at-home independent study and she also took advantage of our one-on-one -on -one tutoring. We find that even though our classes are small, if an instructor's working on fractions, and you already know your fractions, you get kind of impatient. So we do find that that one-on-one, -on -one, what you need, that's what we're gonna give you during this hour, really works. And we were surprised, not surprised, we were happy as each test, she just kept on getting it, kept on getting it, so. And then she had all four. <laughs> I start college in January. <laughs> First, I would have to thank God for bringing me this far. Thank my family, church family, friends, for being there with me through this whole thing. Um, there is a person missing in the crowd tonight. My dad passed away 10 years ago. So, it's kind of an emotional time, but an exciting time at the same time. And my kids really encouraged me to keep going. And I encourage anyone to just not give up no matter what you're facing. You can overcome it. And congratulations to all the graduates. Dana 
the photographer, is also our college and career navigator. She helps our students finish the program if we find them slacking a bit. She also helps them go on to their next step, which is usually college or preparing for a workforce uh, employment. So if you have not had your appointment with Dana and you're wearing maroon, you need to see her tonight and get that done. Because if you have your GED and you don't do anything special with it, what was the point? Miss Sarah Hayes. Sarah came to our math weekend. She had no tests done. And we're just like, hey, you know, get the math, get the hard one out of the way. She passed. We knew she would. She was. And then she said, well, I'm going to be at graduation. And we're, we only have one more testing date, Sarah. She goes, I'll take all three on Wednesday. <laughs> so at 10 o'clock at night, I left the building. <laughs> but we had a GED graduate. <laughs> what would you like to say? Thank y'all. <laughs> um, I'm not from here, I'm actually from Texas. So it's a bit different not being with my actual class. Um, just thank everybody, thank my family and my fiance's family and the teachers. Thank y'all so, so much. It helped. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Sierra Hess. Sierra comes from Breckenridge County. So we offer the graduation ceremony to all of our counties and this shows how important it is to be able to walk the line to get your tassel. It's a moment that we look forward to when we're in high school and when life gets in the way and we can't follow through with that. To be able to walk in the GED ceremony is phenomenal. So thank you for coming. We appreciate that. And what would you like to say? Uh, I just want to... I just want to thank my family and my friends. Everybody that's here has been my big support system through it all, and I did it for my kids to show them that even though it took me 10 years, I still did it. <laughs> thank you. Kendall Wolfock. really smart, good potential scores. But we couldn't get her in the office. Light kept getting in the way. And so we offered the uh, math weekend, and she came, and she said, I'm gonna take all of them that day. She only had one under her belt. Just like, you're gonna take three tests, two of the longest ones, math is two hours, reading is two and a half, and another hour and a half, and you're pregnant how long? <laughs> and I'm just like, she goes, I'm gonna do it. Just like, okay. And guess who did it? <laughs> so when our students say they're gonna do something, we listen. <laughs> Kendall, did you go to the microphone? <laughs> I didn't hear you speaking. Thank everybody. <laughs> so I'd like to introduce our staff before we have the graduates change their tassel. So in the back of the room is Miss Joyce. We call Joyce Orange Crush because she's our detention instructor and they wear orange jumpsuits. And she crushes the GED numbers at the jail. As a matter of fact, the Hardin County Detention Center gets more GEDs than any other jail in the state. 
So we know Louisville is bigger than us, Lexington is bigger than us, but Orange Crush over here will put out some GEDs. She was Robert's teacher, and that's why she's here tonight. She Thank wanted to see going. Robert graduate. Yeah. We have Miss Becky. She's our magical math person. She was a big, big part of this weekend, the high impact. So our GED graduates would not be here if it were not for her mathematical, mathematical expertise. We have Amanda and Tina. I, okay, I want, this is who we call the A team. Amanda and Tina, they're the first front line. People come, that's who they register with, that's who they enroll with, that's who they do their initial enrollment testing with. So, yes, yes. When you sign that paper, that's permission for us to harass you. Um, they're the ones that make sure your testing is scheduled um, and they do a fantastic job with that, trying to find the best possible way to test OP online or at the center. We also have centers in Hardensburg. We have some people going to Campbellsville. We're really lucky because we have three centers within 40 minutes of us. Then we have Sandra Singleton. She's our RLA and ESL teacher. as well as social studies with a smidgen of science, because the math teacher also does a smidgen of science. And we are finding more so than the math, the social studies is becoming one of the hardest tests to pass. So it's not always about the math test. We have Gary. <laughs> Gary Bohannon. He's our evening math teacher and he also does tutoring. We have Ms. Pam Cron. She is one of our uh, evening tutors. She does in-person and Zoom tutoring. Her specialty is math, but this, she can do everything. I mean, she can do everything. So. And then we have Laura Lang. She's our, what are you exactly? She shows up every couple months saying, I can work a few hours and we work her. She is our one-on-one um, -on -one tutor, our United Way success coach. She is helping us with our online IXL program. Anything I need done, Laura actually gets it done. She's, uh, I have the opportunity of listening to her tutor and I'm amazed, sometimes I just sit there like, I didn't know that. Because she's just so articulate with the people getting them to understand vocabulary, getting them to understand how to read questions properly. So she's very methodical in her teaching, um, very patient in her teaching. So I always am mesmerized when she's sitting there with students uh, listening. And we also have um, Dana, who I mentioned earlier, our college and career navigator. And I didn't see Nancy in the room. Nancy is our office manager. She keeps me honest, keeps me out of jail with the budget, and we would not get paid if it were not for Nancy. And if we didn't get paid, we would not be here tonight. So Nancy's the one. So okay. at this time, I would like the graduates to please stand. Your tassel is on the right side of your cap, I'm going to ask you in a moment to take it to the left side, and at that time you will be considered an official graduate with the GED program in the state of Kentucky. You can also at that time throw your cap into the air, but remember, there's very low ceilings. So. Graduates, please take your tassel from your right side to your left. And by the power vested in me, you are graduates.
Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for coming. We have cake and oh, soda. If you'd like to sit and join your graduates, meet the other graduates. We also have photo opportunity in the back in our arch. And also in the hallway, we have our balloon. And we'll bring out the basket so you, not that family, because there's 20 of them. But you can get in the basket with your family and take a good photo op of your graduates. They can show you their balloon, which is at the top of our uh, hot air balloon. So thank you for coming. <laughs>